Hey everybody, it's me Serena and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about fashion, hauls, subscription boxes, try-ons, and how we can look classy yet still up to date and trendy in our 40s, 50s, and beyond because that, that's what I strive to do. So if you like those kind of things, please consider sticking around here with us for all my try-ons and hauls and reviews by clicking that red subscribe button and giving me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And today I'm pretty excited because I have a wantable, uh, wantable try-on for you guys. Wantable, as you may or may not know, it's a subscription service. It's a styling service and you can set your, um, you can set your schedule for when you receive your boxes and everything comes to you, to your house in a box all wrapped up nicely. You have an invoice inside with a list and a picture of the items and a little note from your stylist. My stylist is Caitlin, so hi Caitlin. Um, and she has done a great job this time sending me a variety of things to try on. I have four different tops to try on, a pair of shorts, a skirt, and some jeans. So that's exciting. And a little bit about how it works. There is a $20 styling fee for Wantable, and uh, then that gets applied toward anything that you keep from the box. And if you haven't tried Wantable and would like to try it for yourself, I will include my referral link below. And if you sign up using that link, you will get a $25 credit on your first box, and I will get a credit as well. So it's a win-win. So um, that's a little bit about Wantable. They do have um, a stream on their website where they show different items that they have available. And you can go through there and favorite those items. And you can even leave little comments if you want to, like why you like that particular item. Usually I just go through and hit, hit the little heart button and uh, like different things. And they will do their best to send those items to you if they have them in stock and in your size. And so out of the seven items that I've received today, one, two, three, four are actually items that I had requested in my stream. So that's great. And they send you seven items. And if you keep five or more items, then you get a 20% discount on the total of the items that you keep but you have to keep the five to get any discount. If you don't keep five, then there's no discount. You just get your styling fee credited toward your total. So that's a little bit about how it works. I won't go into a whole lot of detail about each individual item. We'll do that once I'm doing the try on. So let me get changed into the first outfit and I'll be right back. Okay, first outfit. And yes, I know I have one leg rolled up and one leg rolled down and I'll tell you why in a second. <laughs> So I am wearing, this is the linen t-shirt by Thread and Supply in light green camo. This is an item that I had um, requested. And I have to say, I really like the fit of this t-shirt. It's relaxed without being too baggy. And I just did a little front tuck right there. I think this looks good with jeans. It would look great with some jean shorts. And if you stick around to the end of my video, I have a bonus. Uh, it's not Wantable related, but it's a, a bonus try on. So I'll get to that. But um, I like the color of this. I like the drapiness of the fabric. I do like this t-shirt a lot actually. And let's see, this t-shirt is $44 and the jeans that they sent, this is a repeat of some jeans I actually got in my last Wantable box. Um, these are cut from the cloth. They're the Reese Ankle Straight, and they sent these to me in a four. Last month, they sent them in a six, and they were just, they were just too big and baggy. The fit was just off, but I liked the wash, and I liked the amount of distressing in the jeans. So I requested them again in another size and they had them, so they sent them to me. And they came cuffed, but um, I'm not really a fan of anything cuffed on me because being short, 
I feel like that cuff, that horizontal line breaking me up just really truncates me. And I feel that way whether it's jeans or jean shorts. I hate jean shorts that have a cuff. I think that makes my legs look short. I just don't like it. So there it is uncuffed. And you can see they come down right to my ankle. And it's a raw hem and it's actually um, a stepped hem. So it's a little bit shorter in the front than in the back. So I'm gonna unroll I'm gonna unroll this leg too, so we can see what the, it looks like with both of them unrolled. And I think I might like these because I don't have a, well, I have one pair of straight leg uh, blue jeans, and those are my ones from Walmart. But they're a little bit darker than this and they don't have any distressing. So there are the jeans. What do you think about these? Got a little bit of distressing there, a little bit on the pockets. They do have the distressing in the knees. That doesn't bother me. I mean, any more than that and it would be too much, but this level of distressing, I, I think is pretty good. Trendy without being over the top. And they're very soft. They have a lot of stretch in them like all cut from a cloth do. So I think this whole outfit is a very good, casual, just knocking around outfit, wearing to ball, the ball field outfit with some sneakers, that kind of thing. So I'm really liking this top. And let's see, the jeans are $89, which is pretty typical for cut from the cloth. So there's the first outfit. I am going to put on one of the other tops with these jeans and I'll be right back. Okay, next item is this top by Love Appella. This is called the Floral Wrap Front Sleeveless Top in Burgundy, and it's a size small. So it's made out of a knit material, kind of like, kind of like t-shirt material, maybe a little bit thinner and more stretchy. And it's got the wrap front here, and it's got some ruching on the sides, or on this, this side it does anyway. So I have mixed thoughts on this top. It would be a good top to have in my closet because I notice I still don't have a lot of pattern in my closet. Um, I'm so picky about patterns and, and I look at my closet and I just see all these solids and, um, and I think it's because I'm so picky. I have a few pattern things, but not many. And I'll, on this uh, particular top, I'm not crazy about this floral design. I don't know. What do you guys think? Well, number one, it's burgundy, and that's not exactly a spring and summer color. This looks like um, a top I would get in the fall, and I think this could be cute with uh, a jean jacket and maybe some different color pants. Or with jeans and then like a green utility jacket, it would look good under that. Um, I just don't know if I want it now. I think it's, you know, flattering enough. It's a flattering fit. These wrap tops typically are. And let's see, what's the price on this? This is $44, so that's not too bad. I'm just not sold on this pattern. You guys let me know what you think about it. Is it a yes or a no? All right, I'm gonna put on the last top with these jeans before I move on to some other items. Okay, next item is this purple or lavender, I guess you would call this purple, kind of twist front t-shirt. This is by the Wantable brand, um, or W by Wantable. It's called the Twisted Front Short Sleeve Modal Top in Blueberry. Well, that's a nice color name. Yeah, it is, it is the color of blueberries. 
So there's some things I like about this top. I like the sleeve length. I think that's a flattering spot for short sleeves to end. I really like the neckline. I like the V-neck. It's not too deep. I wouldn't worry about, you know, exposing anything. So it, it comes to a great point here on me. Um, and these twist front tops can be tricky, but I think this one is okay. Uh, it's just a nice, cute little casual t-shirt, basically, or kind of an elevated t-shirt. I think this would look really pretty with white, like my white shorts in the summertime, or white pants or white jeans, or even a lighter wash jean. I mean, they go okay with these jeans, but I think with a lighter wash, the color of the top would stand out more. But let's see, the price on this um, is $44. <laughs> That's the, the popular price of the day for these tops, it seems like it's $44. So it's 44. I don't know, I think it's pretty cute. And, and what you can't see on the video is how soft this is. It is super soft. I guess it's made out of that modal fabric since they mentioned that in the in the name of the uh, of the top. But it is just silky. That's how it feels. It's a it's a knit, so it's stretchy, but it has a nice silky feel to it as well. And this opens you up to a lot of different um, jewelry possibilities too, with this neckline. This is something, I mean, it's a basic, but I could see myself wearing this a ton with jeans, with pants, or with shorts. So I didn't think I was gonna like this top, but after I got it on, I actually like it. Of course, I'll have to watch the footage back. That's always very telling. Sometimes things I think that I like after I watch the footage, I'm not real crazy about. So let me know what you think about this top. And I'm going to get changed into a new outfit. Okay, so I decided to keep this little t-shirt on uh, with these shorts. These shorts are by Democracy. And they are the High Rise Ab Solution shorts. You all know about the Ab Solution jeans and pants that they make. They have the stretchy, stretchy waistband. It's not just stretchy, but it's stretchy but holds you in which is really nice um but it's in this green camo the, the color they're calling this is olive fog and these are in a size six and the price is 64 dollars and i measured the inseam on these before i tried them on and they are like four and a quarter inches for the inseam Usually I like a five inch, but this being a little over four, I'm, I'm feeling okay in for summertime for casual wear. And uh, if I had some color on my legs, that would help tremendously. So excuse my pale legs. These have just a raw hem. They're just cut off. So I don't know if that would fringe out anymore. Right now it's just kind of a cut raw hem. So yeah, let me know what you think about these. Here they are a little bit cl more close up. I like that the legs are not tight. See that? Not tight in the legs, which is good. And I do love camo. Like I said, I'm picky about prints, but camo is one of the prints that I do tend to like. I have camo pants and I love that camo t-shirt. I have a v-neck camo t-shirt. So I do like, like me some camo. But let me know what you think about them. And I'm gonna put on the last outfit. Okay, last outfit. Let me know what you think about this. Something different. So this little tank top is by Gentle Fawn. Isn't that pretty? 
and it's a gray, kind of a heathered gray, and it's called the Smith Tank in, in heather gray, in a size small, and it's $46. I think that's pricey for a tank top. And it does have, excuse my bra, um, it's got the racer back style, and I do have on a full coverage uh, bralette. But even so, I don't think this is going to work on me because this comes down so far. Um, even if I had on like a sports bra or a convertible bra, I feel like this would, I mean, I feel like it's showing the side of my boob. Once again, it's short people problems, you know. Um, but I like the color of it. I would just need to find something similar and maybe a petite size or something with smaller armholes. These armholes are, kill are killing me with these armholes. Um, and then this sweet little skirt. This skirt is uh, by Skyser Blue, and it's called the Ditsy Floral Tiered Skirt in Sage. And it is a size medium, and it is $58. I love the skirt and I could wear it with a different sleeveless top or I could I think this would be really cute just with a little white t-shirt like a little v-neck white t-shirt tucked in and sandals or even with um, you know a white tank maybe not quite this style But I don't know, let me know what you think. Is this flattering or no? I just love this skirt. I love where it hits on me and, it's, and it is lined. So just a fun, flirty little skirt. So let me know what you think about this. I think this is a fun outfit. So that is everything in my wantable box. So. Let me know what you think. I, I think for sure I'm going to keep the camo t-shirt just because I like the drape of it. I like the fit and I don't have one just like this in the green with a crew neck. The burgundy floral is out. Um, the purple top or the blueberry color top, this is a possibility. And the shorts and the pants are a possibility too. This tank top is out, but the skirt is a possibility. So I don't know, that's a lot of items. I don't know how, if I keep five, I get the 20% discount, but do I need to keep five of these items? I don't know. I'll have to do, do some number crunching and see what all that, what that comes up to be and really think about what I'm gonna wear and not wear. But I really would like your guys' input so I don't have to send this back for a few days. So, um, so let me know your input and your thoughts on all these items and what you think I should keep or, and what is, is a no. And I would really appreciate it. And you're gonna get a bonus. Um, as you know, I have been on the quest for the perfect pair of cutoff jean shorts. <laughs> and so far I have been unsuccessful, but I ordered a pair that were delivered the other day and I'm gonna try those on for you guys and we're gonna see if these are winners or not. So stay tuned for that, I'll be right back. Okay, bonus footage time, <laughs> as I promised. Um, these are my latest attempt at finding the perfect cutoff shorts for this summer. And I ordered these from Liverpool. These are the Vicky frayed hem jean shorts so they've got a frayed hem but then they're stitched right above it so it, they won't keep on unraveling they have a little slit on the side and these are a five inch inseam which is the length that i like so let me know what you think about these Are these keepers? Are these the ones I should keep? These are in a size six, which is my normal size, but they're not super tight. Um, and they have a lot of stretch in them. So they're very comfy. I do have one complaint, and this may be me being super picky, but still. Look at the zipper. 
Is that not crooked as heck? I mean, so there's the button. Here's the button over here, and I'm gonna show you where should that, in my mind, your zipper and your button should line up with your belly button. Here's the button for the shorts. My belly button is right there. And I don't know what it is, but this leaning, I mean, that just looks cheap, and these were not cheap shorts, and that bothers me about them. Um, would anybody else notice that? Probably not, uh, but it bugs me. And so let me know what you think. Would that bug you? But aside from that, I, I like the little camo uh, t-shirt with it. I think this is a cute little knock around outfit to wear to the ball field and, and wherever else, just being casual summer day. So, there's the bonus look. Let me know about these shorts. Are these the ones? Should I ask for a different pair with a straight uh, zipper or should I keep looking? So that is my video for today. Let me know what you think about my wantable items, including this camo t-shirt. What items did you like? Did you not? What should I keep? What should I send back? I've got a few days to decide. So as always, I appreciate you. Thank you for joining me here today. I hope you've enjoyed my video. If you do, give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And please stay tuned to my channel for more uh, unboxings, try-ons, hauls, and reviews. I've got a lot more coming up. So have a wonderful weekend, everybody. And until next time, have a stylish day. Bye-bye.